Bitcoin explosive move looms as Bollinger Bands reach the tightest points all year, but it doesn't necessarily mean to the upside. I thought I'd add that. Bitcoin crypto morning tea. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name's Piano Matty B. That is Scaramucci. This is your morning tea. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun shining, where the winds blowing. All the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni bringing the data. The FOMO index has fallen down to 52. From yesterday's Sigity 1 Bitcoin dominance. Is 55.1%. 24 hour volume is 77 billion. The overall market cap 2.31 trillion. Give or take a hundred million. <laughs> well, the FOMC meeting has come and gone, and like all meetings for the past year or so, it read the same script as always, leaving things unchanged, and a big old burger donata as the main course. But it still managed to rattle the robot guan bots to execute their cell algos, but we talked about this, so it should have come as no surprise to anyone in this boutique community when Bitcoin price action, <laughs> well, uh, she had a little dump. Two percent fib. And if we see continued downward pressure, our next fib to keep our papers on is a 50% fib down, 64.3. Lord love a duck. She didn't do just that. After a week of bearish pressure and consolidation, price action failed once again to get up and over. The fitty moving average and plummeted down, finding a bottom and a bounce at 63.7 <laughs> and has fought back up to a time of production 64.5 placing us underneath the 20 and the 50 moving average and white knuckling our old channel of eternal monotony support now acting as resistance my heartbreakingly bullish outlook for today would be to recover back up to this level of consolidation at 66.3, where we would meet the headwinds of the 20 moving average. However, we still haven't fulfilled the bearish omen of this cute little bear flag, which does fulfill its destiny down at Siggity 2.5. Now over on the ding dong, you can see since Sunday. <laughs> We've just waterfall down every day. Is that a dad alert? Yes, it is. Holy smokes, it's a double dad alert. Apparently, we have broken underneath the 20 moving average and the MACD. Well, she's cross bearish. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Oh, well, the last time this happened and... Strangely enough, both these signals happened at the same time back on June 11th, where we subsequently witnessed a 22% drawdown before recovering back up. So where <laughs> would a 22% drawdown take us from here? Well, it's EGADS way down at 50.3. Shouldn't you stick to the ABBs, Piano Matty B? <laughs> The YouTube crypto holy grail of always be bullish. Yes, I should, but I don't, because that would essentially 
be lying to y'all, but hey, doesn't mean it has to. Just means it has, and that it could again. After all, 75% of August monthly candles close red, so it wouldn't be crazy to see some more bearish dog days down in a historically bad summer month of Daldromanus. Blus, and I just made the word Daldromanus up just now. <laughs> And when you look at that, my friends, the sun's up. It's another beautiful day here on planet Earth, a day none of us are guaranteed. We're not guaranteed these days yet. We're lucky enough to have anyway, so get out there, knock them dead, and remember, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected leaves. And that's right, it's the long game. So zoom out and have a fantastic day. <laughs> and we'll be going live right away, so grab yourself a coffee. Join me for a quick one. And by all means, sing it with me now. I'll run the banks of boom, nush, bang, Bitcoin, crypto, morning, day. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this.